I would like to share some unbelievable, exciting news with you all. And so just strap in for just a second while I uh, bring to the stage uh, Vaughan Werner, who is the Grand Master of Freemasons Victoria. Warner, would you like to? <laughs> Have a look at this wonderful man. Grand Master uh, of Freemasons Victoria. Uh, I'm very, very proud to announce that the Freemasons Victoria are going to be working collaboratively with us at Think Pink Foundation to fund a full term, full time, done it again, full time breast care nurse for the Living Centre for the next three years. I can't tell you how excited I am about that. That is really going to take us to the next level. I'm, I'm so very excited. Um, together we're going to be working to make this wonderful, tangible facility uh, be a profound uh, um, service out there in the community and really enable us to care for so many people, so many families and make a real difference out in there in the community. So. Thank you from all of the Think Pink Foundation. Today is so exciting because of that news and you're yeah, all hearing you. it first. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Oh, would you like to? Oh, look, look, come to the stage, uh, Grand Master. Come on. Come on. Well, thank you very much for that introduction, uh, Samantha, Minister Daniel. Uh, Consul General, to uh, Irene and David, and not forgetting Doreen either. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a delight to be here today. And probably the first question in most of your minds is, what on earth is a men's organisation doing getting involved in women's health? Well, let me get rid of the mystery to begin with. Uh, the only problem I'm envisaging in this regard is how I'm going to go back to my brethren who love wearing blue and gold regalia and talking about that and telling them all from here on as men they must think pink. <laughs> <clears throat> Nonetheless, Freemasonry has been involved in women's health through our former hospital in East Melbourne which had a strong cancer treatment unit and uh, it's nothing new to us. Last year, the ladies in Freemasonry conducted a pink breakfast in where we ra successfully raised $30,000 at one breakfast for cancer, uh, pink breast cancer research. And we're very proud of the fact that our ladies did that of their own initiative and just trotted the Grand Master out of his cupboard for the morning, sat him down at a table, didn't allow him to say anything, and then put him back in the cupboard <laughs> afterwards. <clears throat> they felt very big about that. But we're delighted to be able to sponsor the breast care nurse for the ensuing three years here. Look, it's a most worthwhile project as far as we are concerned because uh, the work that they will do in making life so much more comfortable and giving some advice and guidance and education to those that are inflicted with this disease is something that is such a worthwhile enterprise in the community. We're proud to be part of it. And we're also proud to be partners with Murbeck K. Marked, uh, Sleep Master and the National Cancer Council in this enterprise. The funding for this amounts to $225,000 over uh, the next three years. <laughs> Don't get excited. <clears throat> and in addition to that, we will be hosting a dinner in Dallas Brooks Hall early next year, date yet to be advised. I fortunately have the Grand Secretary and the President of our Board of Benevolence with, the, with me this morning, and I think this is the appropriate time to ask them if, brethren, we can have Dallas Brooks Hall at a very cheap rate that <laughs> evening. <laughs> Now, come on, we don't want the usual Masonic discussion before we make a decision. We will, I'm sure, be delighted to do that. And uh, 
as far as we are concerned, this is a wonderful enterprise to be involved in. It has had the effect of stimulating our staff and curiously, we have probably have a 50% female staff in our administration and Lena Kondos, who is here this morning, is in fact our membership services uh, manager. Uh, this is how far Freemasonry has progressed in recent times. But our staff are enthused with this project and it's stimulated our membership to greater heights. In, instead of their ladies supporting them, they are required to support their ladies in these enterprises and uh, we're very proud of that. I personally, Irene, heard your little message this morning and as a male here, I can say I equate with you because around this time last year I was confronting the unknown myself through a men's cancer issue and uh, so far touch wood I'm still smiling and uh, the future's looking good. So I know exactly and I felt for you immensely when you were talking here this morning and uh, as one who's been through it to some small extent. I personally appreciate the value of your work for others. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. Good. Good. Good.